Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So today I'm going to talk about something a little more serious. It has to do with some of my own medical conditions that I've been going through for quite a while. Hence me discovering not only hydrogen, there's a lot of other topics and information that I know about. I haven't shared a lot of it on my videos because I think they're a little controversial and I don't want to get into the controversy of it all. Plus hydrogen has been the best thing and the most powerful tool I've ever found. And there's so much misinformation out there. That's the reason I kind of tend to focus on this. But probably at some point, I'll be sharing with you guys some other information here in the near future. But today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about muscle atrophy. And the reason I want to talk to you guys about this particular topic is because of my own experiences with hydrogen. I haven't actually seen specific research about this in regards to just maybe somebody being laid up for six or seven months and the atrophy and how it affects them in regards to their muscles. But in my particular case, I was, for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of people who don't know and some of you do, about some of my more serious medical problems where I would have the inability to walk for long periods of time and I would have a great deal of pain. Now, when I was younger and like really healthy and really, you know, active and very athletic, at that time I had a, there was a point where I had to, to be laid up for about two weeks. In that two week period, when I finally stood up to walk, my legs were so weak and a little wobbly, I was very surprised because I had never experienced anything like that. Then as I got older and I started having major medical issues and I would basically go down for about two months then I would go down for three months and every single time it seemed to get worse and I got to the point where I would literally be laid up for like six, seven months at a time where I couldn't walk. Now, when I introduced hydrogen, I started noticing something really, really interesting. I started noticing that by the time I would be laid up for however many months it was, the longest bout that I ever went was something like around six, seven months. When I was finally able to start walking, I was surprised how much strength I felt in my legs. In my mind, that shouldn't be possible. If you're laid up for that amount of time, your muscles are gonna atrophy. You should not be able to stand up and walk almost in a normal fashion. Granted, of course I lost some muscle mass, but I still had, I still retained a lot of it and I was still able to just get up and start walking again. So it was amazing. I didn't really attribute it to hydrogen at first. And then I started noticing the things that I do for my health. And of course, hydrogen being the most powerful tool that I use, I started realizing, I think it's hydrogen that's really keeping my muscles from atrophying in a very aggressive way. And again, I haven't seen a lot of research in regards to that, but I found it so interesting. I wanted to share with you guys because a lot of people have also asked me to share some of my own personal stories with hydrogen. And this is one of them. So I really think that there is a correlation between preventing muscle atrophy and using something like hydrogen water. So I, I really wanted to share this you know, with you guys. I hope that you find this information helpful. If you did as usual, you know, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, all that kind of stuff. But don't forget to share the information also because there's a lot of people who have either gone through some type of injury or they're gonna be laid up for some time, then this could really benefit. Or somebody who is older, and you know, when people get older and they go down from some type of injury or whatever it may be, you know, they're gonna have some really major problems trying to bounce back. So I really think this could really potentially help a lot of people. And of course, I myself would be interested in seeing further research on this particular topic. But I just wanted to share with you guys, share some of my own experiences. I hope you guys found it helpful. As usual, support the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification button because, again, I do have more videos coming your way. And that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next video.